Jesus, because he's a son of God, was ranked next to God in terms of rank. But because he suffered death, that act of suffering death, now he's made lower than the angels. Crowned with glory and honor. Now he's lower than the angels, but now he's crowned, which means now he's way above the angels because now he's, a, he's crowned, he's a king with glory and honor. That he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. So why was he crowned? Why was he made king? Paul says, because he who should taste death for every man. For him to do that, he has to be a God. He cannot suffer for all men. He cannot taste death for all men or suffer the pain of death for all men unless he was a God. For him to die, he had to be a human less than the angels. For him to suffer death for all men, he had to be a God. There's a threshold of pain you feel. Beyond that point, you die. Your body shuts down. There's a limit of pain you can feel when you die. But as a God, there's no pain threshold. That means God can suffer infinitely and still will not die. And that's what Christ did. He took down the pain of death for all men. And the thing I always ask myself is, why did not Christ only suffer for the righteous? Why did he, did he have to put himself through that, through suffering for all men? Right? We will never comprehend the amount of pain and suffering he went through because we are human. Our suffering is great. Our suffering is a lot. But it has a threshold. There's a limit. It shows us how much Heavenly Father loves us. Loves us. It shows us how much Jesus loves us. That he made it possible for all men to be saved. Not just the righteous. That's why he had to suffer for all men. That's why he had to be a God to do that. So that we can all overcome death. He paid that price in full. That all men, good and bad, can overcome death and live forever. That's amazing that he did that. And he loved us that much. And the only thing we can do to thank him is to follow him and obey him. So that he can save us, bless us even more with peace in this life and eternal life in the next.